In this video, we're going to find the acceleration and tension uh, for this uh, pulley tension problem. Uh, we have uh, three uh, masses uh, connected to the string. Uh, we have uh, M, we have 2M on this side and 4M on this side. We're going to start by drawing a force diagram for each of the masses. So for the first mass, M, uh, we're going to have a a force going down, which is going to be the weight of the mass, so we'll call that mg. And then going up, we're going to label this tension here T1. These are massless strings. I'm going to label this T2. This is going to be T2 right here. Okay. So we're also going to indicate the positive direction. So this looks like this is heavier, so it's going to rotate this way. So we're going to make this direction our positive direction. So um, we have mg, and then we also have T2 in the up direction. Okay. So now for 2M, this is the force diagram for 2M, there's going to be a T1, which is going to go this direction, T1, and then we also have 2MG, and then going up, we have T2, T2, okay. And then uh, for our third mass, 4M, uh, and it has... 4mg over here, and it's got the T1 going up. Okay, so next we're going to write an equation for uh, each of these. We'll start with T2. So T2, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make the uh, draw write the force down that's in the positive direction minus the force in the negative direction. Uh, so let's see, it's gonna be T2 minus mg is equal to um, is going to be equal to ma and ma is the mass of and so here's the equation so the net force uh, net force is equal to ma right that's the general equation so m is the mass of the block times a which is what we're looking for so that's the first one the second one is going to be the second block will be now on this side the force going down is positive, the force going up is, so the force in down minus the force going up, so we have T1 plus 2mg minus T2 equals, and remember this mass here is the mass of the system, so be careful, it's not just M, it's mass of the system, so it's 2m, 2m times A. Alright, so then for the third one, it's going to be 4mg minus T1 is equal to mass of the system for MA. Now what you'll notice is some of these uh, forces will cancel out. So the T2 will cancel out. We're going to add, add these up. Uh, the T1s will cancel out. So on the left hand side, we get 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 MG on the left hand side. And uh, 4, 4, 5, 6, actually we're going to minus 1, so 4, 6 minus 1 is actually 5, so let me correct that. So this is going to be 5, so this will be 5 right here, okay, is equal to, and then on this side we have M, A, 2, and 4, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this side we have 7 M, A, okay. Notice that the M's cancel out, we have the M's canceling out. Okay, and so the A will equal, A is going to equal at 5G divided by 7, divide 7 on both sides. So it's going to be 5G divided by 7. Uh, 5G divided by 7, this is going to be 7, uh, 7G. Seven so G is 9.8. So G is 9.8, so we're going to end up with 7 meters per second squared. Okay, so that is the acceleration. So next we want to find the tension. So we're going to plug just plug this back into our equation. Let's start with this first one right here. So we have T2. Okay, so we're using this one right here. T2 minus mg equals m. And a is just going to be 7, ma. So we're going to use this right here. m is going to be 1. That's given. So m is 1 kilogram. So we're going to use that. All right, so T2 is equal to ma plus mg. Now let's plug in the numbers. So m is 1, acceleration 7, m is 1, 9.8. Okay. 
And if we calculate that, we get 16.8, 16.8 newtons. So that is the force, that is the tension force right here in our pulley. Okay, next we're going to solve for T1. So T1, I'm going to use this equation right here. Okay, so this is going to be T1, uh, sorry, 4T1. Fix that. So it's going to be 4mg, 4mg minus T1 equals 4 M A. So we're looking for T1. So T1 is equal to, I'm going to move that to the right, so it's going to be 4mg minus 4ma. Okay. So now we're going to do some substitution. 4m is 1, g is 9.8, minus 4m is 1, a is 7. And if we calculate that, we get 11.2, 11.2 newtons. Okay, so now I'd like to show you another way of solving this. We can also solve this by using, um, instead of making each of these um, masses our system here, um, I can also just solve it by making uh, look making this our, my system on the left here. Oh, sorry, I can also make the whole thing my system. Okay, so if I make the whole thing my system, um, let me go ahead and stretch this out so so it looks like this. So. I'm going to just kind of um, straighten out this pulley. Um, I know it's going to look a little bit weird, but do this here. So 2M, this is M, and just showing you a different way of solving this 4M. Okay, so I straighten out the string. Uh, this is going to be my positive direction. In my negative direction, it's going to be the weight of this mass pulling it this way. So it's going to be the weight of this mass. Uh, so that's going to be MG. This will be mg. And then on this side, it's going to be the weight of both of these, 2m plus 4m. So on this side, it's going to be 4 plus 2 is 6mg, 6mg. And this is the positive direction, right? All right. So now I'm going to use my Newton's second law, net force equals ma, all the force in the positive direction, 6mg, minus all the force in the negative direction, mg, is equal to, now be careful, my system, what is my system? My system, that is my system right there. Okay, so be careful. System, so it's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7m and the acceleration. So now I'm going to solve for the acceleration. So here I have 5mg is equal to 7ma. M's cancel out. And once again, a is uh, going to be 5 over 7, 5 over 7 times g which is 7 meters per second squared. G is 9.8, and we get the same answer, okay? So you can solve this in one of uh, different ways. One way is to make each of the blocks your system. The other one is to make everything your system, like I just did right here, everything is your system, and then solve for the acceleration.